What's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna basically tell you how to fix every kind of not launching or not starting issue you're currently having with NBA 2K23. So stick to the end guys, this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial. In the end you will probably know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue. Before we start right into the video, I just want to you guys know, let you guys know that, that I would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right into my YouTube channel. It would really make my day and help me out as a little YouTuber as I am. Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys. You would support my work in YouTube a little bit and I'm gonna really really be thankful for that and I'm gonna thank you for that. So anyways, I would just say let's get right started. So the first step in order to fix the scanner issue is gonna be to navigate to your taskbar. You're gonna right click and open up your task manager. What I want you to do next is gonna be to navigate to the top left corner of your screen clicking onto processes. And afterwards, just click one of those random processes, doesn't really matter which one. And then type in N in order to find NBA 2K23. If nothing pops up, it's good for you. If something pops up, simply right click and end the task. Once you're finished, you should be able to end the task manager again. And the next step is going to be to take your Steam or your NBA 2K shortcut or your origin, wherever you downloaded it. And if you don't have it on your desktop, so just navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen, click on the Windows symbol and use your Windows search function in order to find it. So once you found it, simply drag it under your, on your desktop. Let's quickly come back, take your shortcut, right click, navigate to the very bottom where it says properties, click on that, click on compatibility and copy what I used. So let's qu qu quickly run through it. Compatibility mode, enable run this program in compatibility mode four, select Windows 8, Disable the disable full screen optimizations as well as enable run this program as an administrator, hit apply and OK. I would personally recommend you to restart your PC afterwards and once it's restored it, you should be able to see this little administrator symbol right on your shortcut. What I want you to do next is going to be to just simply double click it and launch it and this will probably fix your issue. That's it for the video guys, I hope that I could actually help you out with this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment or a subscription. And I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you, but I'm just going to do my best in order to help you out. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one and bye.